You know, it's actually been a minute since I have made a vlog. Two months since I made a vlog. It was a 200 subscriber special. It's been a month. How many times am I going to say that? As many times I want, I don't know. Welcome back to the channel. I got some things to talk about today. Um, I'm in the middle of Starfield right now. I'm actually filming, I believe, the last episode. I know. The next part is only part eight. What are you talking about? The last episode. I don't know. I feel like it's the last episode. I'm doing a lot of stuff. I have a new routine these days with school and a whole bunch of things I have to do, like driver's ed and getting a job. There are some things that get in the way of me doing YouTube and I actually have to put YouTube on the back burner while I do these other things. My new routine is I'll do half of a video one day and half of a video another day. My newest Starfield video, you guys will notice, um, for most of the video, it's me with a white shirt on, no hat. And then all of a sudden, Whoosh, it just cuts and I'm now wearing a gray shirt and a hat. That's because I split in two days because I don't have enough time to actually film a full length video anymore sometimes, uh, unless it's the weekend and I don't, I can't wait that long. And then my other routine for editing is I will do half of the video one night and half of the video the other night. So it's like a four day process just to get one video done. And I'm not even like including thumbnail so that's my new routine so i haven't had a lot of time to distance myself from gaming and get back to vlogs for you guys um because i know there is a decent uh, amount of people on my channel who do like vlogs and watch them so here we are i have a few things to address in this vlog this vlog is um very important very very important to start off with I am at a loss for words right now for a numerous amount of reasons. We are right now at 263 subscribers, 1,863 watch time hours. How? You know our goal for this year, our main goal for this year was just 200 subscribers and 700 watch time hours what i mean by that is we were supposed to reach 700 watch time hours that was it and 200 subscribers and that was it we have now surpassed both of those by a large amount we're in the thousands place with watch time hours it's massive right now it's it's um it's growing a lot and i truly am at a loss for words. This video is off the cuff. I have zero preparation for it and no script this time. Just straight up me talking off the top of my head. It's fun doing that a lot. It's very fun to vlog without scripts or preparation. Just straight up me talking to you face to face. One of the best parts about being a YouTuber is having these conversations with you guys. I do love making vlogs. I just love making gaming videos much more. <laughs> I don't know why, I just, um, I really enjoy them. It's, um, it's what I look forward to at the end of school. It's, um, keeps me passionate and just, uh, ready for anything sometimes. Like, editing, without my camera having to mix audio it's tedious and it is hard work and um not something i ever enjoy doing and that creates patience virtues skills things that people need to do things so youtube has helped me in a lot of ways more than one back to what i was saying I have a lot of things to address. And not only are numbers rising in analytics, but also um, on another side of analytics. One of our videos has surpassed every single review that I have ever made. It just completely spontaneously, out of nowhere, exploded. And I have no idea why. I know how. And I, I know 
the cause to the effect. I looked into it, into the analytics, it told me. But I don't understand why. The video I'm referring to is Minecraft Batman DLC is out. Minecraft Batman DLC Part 1. It has now reached 12,000 views. And I am... YouTube is something that I have done and enjoyed doing since I was 8 years old. I have been making videos. I started publishing videos to YouTube in 2015. Um, but I actually made videos before I even had a YouTube channel. Uh, when I was 8 years old, I made videos. Never posted them. and uh, But I have a huge library of videos of me just making videos that were never posted. And I've been doing this since then. And uh, I created my channel in 2015. And since then, I've been posting videos to YouTube. This is something that has been a huge dream of mine since eight years old. And something that I have... There, are, there have been times where I have thought that certain milestones and accomplishments, certain point in my life, I thought these certain accomplishments and um, achievements were impossible to reach because of the current state of YouTube. The way that things are going right now, every topic on YouTube is oversaturated. It's just... Especially gaming. It's um, probably one of the most oversaturated. You got Minecraft, Forza, Starfield. Everybody's doing it. S Star Wars, Jedi Survivor, Fallen Order, Battlefield, Battlefront. Um, Fortnite, everybody is doing gaming content, right? Now. MMOs, you know, stuff like that. Games that people enjoy watching. Watch Dogs. Everybody makes gaming content. Like, so many people. Not every creator on, on the platform, but a good chunk of it. So it is so, so difficult these days to actually get somebody to subscribe to your channel. For whatever reason, they do subscribe. Either it's because they found it funny or informative or interesting. Or they just feel sorry for you and they want to subscribe. I really hope that's not the case. I really hope they just want to watch my stuff. But the point I'm getting at is to have somebody subscribe and watch your content these days is um, in itself a huge accomplishment. It really is because of how oversaturated things are these days. And to have a video reach 12,000 views. As small as I am. <laughs> it's pretty crazy, dude. It's pretty crazy. It blew my mind the moment I saw that. Like, I was like, man, there's no way that just happened, dude. There's no way. And it did. And it's, uh, it's one of the craziest things that's happened on my YouTube journey. I thought I thought reaching 1,000 watch time hours was crazy, but no, that's, that takes the cake, dude. <laughs> it takes the cake. It's, um, I don't know what to say about it, dude. Like, you guys are insane. You guys are something else. It's, uh, I have no words for what it is. I can't tell you what it is. Sometimes I find it hard to say the emotion beaming off me. Like, right now, I can't express to you what I'm feeling. It's just, you, you either have to live it or you'll never know. That's how it is. But sometimes, music expresses exactly how I'm feeling. I just wanted to take the time to live in the moment with you guys. Just sit and think how far we've come. This was me. Not that long ago. It was like eight, seven years ago, something like that. And uh, that was me. I had nothing. I had no mic. I had no laptop, no camera, just a dinky old tablet, smartphone. That was it. I was one of the worst YouTubers on that platform. And I had no clue what I was doing. And now, this is me doing gaming content and having the time of my life. Welcome back! <laughs> to start <laughs> making these videos for people. And then the cherry on top is after hours and days of work. On videos, people take the time to go to people I don't know. That's the real cherry on top is when people I don't know go to the comments and they they leave something. 
they actually take time out of their day to comment something on my video. That's rare these days. That's that's rare. And like I have proof the Minecraft Batman video with 10,000 or uh, 12,000 views not a single comment. 12,000 people clicked on that video and not a single person commented. I have other videos where people have commented. But you see how rare that is. The cherry on top is have people just comment, yo man, your video, it's hitting different, man. You are, you are unlike anyone I have ever seen. Your video cheered me up. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Or even questions. I love all the comments. I haven't gotten hate comments yet, but. As it stands right now, I love all the comments I get. There was this one person who was asking me about the lens cap. I think I actually helped them out. I think I did. They bought the uh, Canon PowerShot S5 IS digital camera. Um, which used to be my most popular video. They were asking me about the proper lens cap because they apparently bought the wrong one. And I told them. Mine is a, uh, I think I said it was a 58 millimeter. I think that's what it was. Don't quote me on that. And, um, yeah, I think I helped them out. I think I helped them out or her. I don't know, but yeah, that's what I'm here for. That's why I'm here. My goal on YouTube since 2017 to now has been to help people who come across my channel. If you watch a video, I really hope that you leave a smile on your face. You know what I mean? Damn, that guy was cool. That guy was funny. I friggin' love that video. Time to go take the garbage out. Time to go to bed. Time to uh, go to work. Time to go to school. Time to do what I gotta do. But man, that just made my day this much better. And hey, if that's it, at least it helped a bit. I am super happy. I've made videos and people have commented the nicest things that I've ever seen, ever read. People just say, man, that video was just like, wow. How do you not have like millions of subscribers or thousands? And even without videos, I help people behind the scenes. You guys think I just help people with videos? No. No. My very existence is to help people. I'm about to become a mechanic. I'm gonna fix your car so you can go places. Oh, you got a flat tire. Fixed. Now if if you get robbed and somebody gets stabbed, you can rush them to the hospital. I got really dark, but you know what I mean. That's what I do. Help people. No matter what it may be, I, I do my best to help them. Because uh, people ask me why. Why do you waste your time with other people's problems? You got your own things to worry about right now. You gotta get a job. You gotta get your G2. You gotta move out. Well, no one said that to me yet, but I'm already thinking about it. Because I think of things years in the future from now. So you gotta you gotta focus on all the stuff. You gotta do YouTube. You gotta focus on you. Why? Why are you worrying about this? Other people. It's not your place. I wish I had an answer. But like I said, sometimes you gotta live it, or you'll never know. You never know who's gonna end up on your doorstep. You never know what problem's gonna be thrown at your way. Life likes to test people, but the trick is to prevail against everything that it throws at you. Because if that's what it likes to do. It likes to chuck things. Heavy, heavy stuff at your head. And, um... Are you gonna get knocked out or are you gonna stand the freak back up? That determines your future. That choice determines your future. You know what else people ask me? When the freak did you get so wise? <laughs> comes with experience. Comes with being me. Comes with, um... You know, like I said, I like to help people with their problems and with, like, I'm not a therapist and I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a professional. Where was I going with that? 
Damn, what was I good? Oh, ah. I have no idea what I was just saying. <laughs> I could mid sentence. I forget what I was gonna say, man. The greatest insult that you can get from me is if I do not help you at all. I'm achieving goals that I've dreamed of since I was just a kid. Seven, eight years old. I always dreamed of having a YouTube channel, being a mechanic, helping people. We are creating something right now that I go to sleep every night and before I go to sleep, like I actually fall asleep. I just stare into the dark abyss. My room is the back cave. My window was taken out of my room because I had to put my AC in. And I got one of those windows that slides left to right. They don't go up and down. So that's a huge problem with an air conditioner, right? So what we had to do was take out my window and um, securely and strongly built a border around the AC to keep it in my window. So I no longer have a window. So daylight doesn't shine in and um i have no lights in my room no night lights everything tech related doesn't glow um no little red lights from things or green blue lights nothing as soon as i turn off everything that has power in this room is pitch black in here i can't even see my hand so i just stare every night I just think for about a good 10 minutes just about the achievements that we've accomplished and that I've accomplished and the things I've done in life and the things that I want to do. I just like plan and I reminisce on the journey, the milestones, the achievements, the goals, the expectations. What's the next step? I just think. You know, back in the day, 2022, my videos in, I'd say around March, April, the videos I was putting out, I was not proud at all of them. They were lazy and they were slapped together like that. They were... Zero passion, love. Maybe not April. Maybe um, February, March, around that time. Um, they were uh, not my best work. And you could tell I was not proud of those videos. And I was having so many problems with my editing apps, which then persuaded me to get a laptop. And uh, audio was being delayed. And uh, it was it was bad. It was so bad. My videos were just not good. Um, I had improved with face cam and editing to an extent, but I still wasn't proud of them at all. I was like, man, what am I even doing right now? I'm wasting my time right now. But these days, ever since we got to 2023, every single video that I have published... Since the clocks turned midnight, January 1st, 2023, to today, whenever you're watching this video, still today, I am extremely proud of everything I've done this year. Every single day, every month, never goes unnoticed with the emotion of pride and accomplishment. I feel I've truly made a comeback with this year because it was sorely lacking in 2020 and 2021 and 2022. Those years were not my best. I can guarantee, I promise you, they were worse than my years of doing YouTube when I first started out because back then, I was still proud of doing videos. I was coming up with clever ways of making videos. 
I put my tablet in front of the TV and I hit record. And I was super proud of that. I thought I was the only person who did that. Turns out a lot of people did that. But at the time, I was like the only person who did that in my mind. It was a super clever way of doing it. And I was happy about that. But 2020 to 2022, ho, 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 those videos. Some of them are really good videos. Some of them are some of my best work. We have five years anniversary. We have um, the Hello Guest series, which I love that game. And I love that series. To this day, I still think those videos are some of my best videos I've ever made. Um, and um, some of those videos in the that arc are just amazing videos. Halo Infinite was great. Um, you know, but some videos from that era were awful. I go back and I watch some of the stuff I put out and man, I was like, what was, I, what was I doing back then? Why didn't I do that or do this? Shoulda, woulda, coulda. That's all I think about watching the majority of 2020 to 2022 videos it's the way it works with being a youtuber you critique your work a lot quite often and if you don't then um well as the saying goes there's a huge difference between confidence and arrogance right if you don't critique your work if you don't look at it and pinpoint what could have been improved or what could have been better Arrogance. Even YouTubers with millions of subscribers, they look at their videos, probably even more, and think, damn, why didn't I improve that or, you know, do that, you know. But Corey Kenshin, he edits his own videos. He doesn't have an editor like Jacksepticeye or Markiplier. He edits his videos all on his own, Corey Kenshin. That guy is a huge idol of mine. I have... High amounts of, of uh, respect towards that guy. And he edits all his videos himself. And um, there's been a couple times, you know, he likes his editing strategy, but always looking for something new, spontaneous, and fresh, you know. Every time I watch a brand new video, he's always improved something from the last time. Even if it's a day later, always something different and better than the last time. You know, I mean, audio is improved or editing's better, less cuts, more cuts, more speaking, more emotion, better focus, better game. Something's always improved, you know. And that's what I do sometimes with my work is what can I improve from the last video? Last time I made a video, I did this and I did that. So let's do this and that this time. A, B, and C, X, Y, and Z. You know what I mean? It's being a YouTuber. It's like a business, right? You look at your product. So you got this camera. You're Canon. You have this camera here. It works. It's good. It's decent. 1080p, 30 FPS. It works. It takes pictures. It records. But what can we improve? 4K? 60 FPS? 120 FPS? Better ISO? Higher ISO, hmm, maybe, or maybe lower. Dark environments, lighter environments, even Canon. They're a business, and I bet you they look at their product all the time. They go, so this is the best of the camera generation, but how can we make it better than what it is? Water lens, no, nah, we've done that, we've done that. Something else, something else, man. Hmm. Virtual SD cards. Yeah, let's do that. It's the future, right? Every business that has ever existed always looks at their product, the newest product, and thinks, how can we make it better? That's what I do with my videos. I look at it. I run it like a business. How can I improve that? What could I do to make this pop? Look at this thumbnail versus this thumbnail. You can tell <laughs> I upped the thumbnails massively 
with the newest Starfield video. I took that thumbnail and I made it from the ground up. I was so proud of it. It was one of the best thumbnails ever made. Just like this Jedi Survivor thumbnail. Always trying to improve my things. That's the life of a YouTuber. You always look at what you've made. You look at the best video that you have and you think, how could I make this even better? And then you do it. 200 subscribers special. One of the best vlogs I've ever made. The best advice I have ever given on my YouTube channel. One of. Not the best, but one of the best. It's on the top five list. How could I make the next vlog even better? No script, but still make it look professional. And literate. And genuine. I think I've done that. See what I mean? I've completely one upped my last vlog. And that's what I do. That's how you improve. That's how you keep moving. That's how you grow. It's another tip for you guys out there who are trying to start YouTube channels or trying to improve your current YouTube channel. Improve at least one thing from your last video or grab your most successful video and take things away from it that made it grow, made it, you know, analyze it, study it, figure out what worked, but also try to find ways that you could have improved it. And sometimes it is, sometimes I'm really harsh on the stuff that I create. When I first started editing on a laptop, oh man, I uploaded a Red Dead video and I was like, what is this garbage? First ever gaming video in 4K and I was like, my God, it is worse. What did I do? What, why, why is it so pixelated, blurry? What the freak is this? Why did I drag this out so long? Why, why am I not talking in this bit? What am I, why does my face cam look like that? What's my lighting situation right now? You know what I mean? I don't even have my LEDs on. Just stuff I ask myself a lot, quite often. And I, I judge my stuff a lot. Like to the point where it's an unhealthy amount. I just look at my content like, bro, what is that? What is that? I made that. Are you sure I made that? I don't think. I don't know, man. That, that I couldn't have done that. I posted that. Oh my God, dude. It's a wonder that I am still on this platform. I can't believe people even like this video. What, what is this? Do better next time. That's being a YouTuber sometimes, you know? You look at your stuff and you think the worst. Be your best supporter, but also your biggest critic. Sometimes, especially for that Minecraft Batman video, I look at things, I look at the intro of that video, and I go, oh. Oh. You know, the view count is high, but the watch time is low. Very low. So I... I went to the video and I clicked on it to see why it was so low. Like, why did people not stick around for very long? And then I found out the intro. Oh. Oh, oh that is bad. <laughs> That's a bad intro, dude. My face is super zoomed in. And um, I'm just rushing through it. Mm-mm-mm-mm. <laughs> No wonder nobody commented. They they can't get past that intro. It's just terrible. Oh, what's this? Cool thumbnail. Oh, what the frick is this? I'm out of here. No. That's the best video on the channel. Most popular video on the channel. And um Yeah. Still see ways I could have massively improved. The outro is uh even worse. There is no outro. It just ends. Like <laughs> where did my outro go? I don't even know. Um, yeah, man. Being a YouTuber is very interesting. And it's taught me a lot. 
and it's gotten me through a lot. It really has. I think music takes number one spot in everything. Me as a person, music is just like, you know what I mean? Either live it or you'll never know what I mean. It's one of those situations. And um, but music is just like, but making videos is also, I'll say, I'll put it this way. Music is like a therapy sometimes. You know what I mean? And the same applies with videos. It's just so relaxing sometimes. And it like centers everything that I'm thinking about. I just turn on the camera and I'm just able to speak fluently and professionally the way I would love to have the way I would love to speak to people in conversation. And sometimes, most of the time, I do. But the odd chance I don't. But almost every time I talk to the camera, just everything comes so clear. And everything I'm trying to say just comes right to my mind. If it doesn't, it takes like three seconds. Boom. Sometimes I'm in a conversation and I'll be like, Did you get the... Uh... Blueberry muffins. <laughs> but you know what I mean, right? You know what I mean. And there's no script for this video. Even though it seems like there is one, but no. It just comes from being a creator for as long as I've been. I love doing YouTube. I really do. So, that was the vlog. What did you guys think? Better than last time? I agree. Was it? Was it? Well, huh? Huh? Well, it's not better. Oh, okay. It's not better than last time. All right. Cool. 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 Well, um. Damn, what, what can I do with this? Do this? Nah, I know. I, I hate it. FBI is looking. Yeah, yeah, good. I know. I thought it was better too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah. I like that. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um I actually don't have it. I gave it to Yeah. I don't have it anymore. No. You don't want to say that. <laughs> anyway, guys, jokes aside. Jokes aside, I'm in my final year of high school. Things are going very well right now. And um, with that out of the way, guys, this was the vlog for this week, this month, this day. I don't know. Who knows? The next time I'll make a vlog. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. You know, I love to read those, as I said. Um, and uh, yeah, just um, thanks for watching. Truly it means a lot to me. I can't believe that we're going the way that we are right now, man. Like, sometimes I just sit and I... Like, sometimes I'll sit... Yeah, that's right. This vlog's not over yet. I sit here sometimes. I think... I'm just... Sometimes I get the emotions where I'm not shocked or happy. I'm just, like, confused. Or just, like... I don't even know how to tell you. It's like an emotion that you feel were just like amazed. You surprised yourself somehow. Just like, man. Huh? You know what I mean? Like, I just sit sometimes and I'm like, man. That right there, I just I just sit there and I do that. I just think, you know. Yeah. 
doing this a long time. You see what I mean? Like, I just completely, you know? You know what I mean? Like, sometimes it's just um, a blank emotion. I, it doesn't have a name. Scientists haven't even discovered it yet. Very few people experience it, but, yeah. I just completely made that up, by the way. That's not a real thing, but it feels like it sometimes. But Anyways, guys, I'm going to end this vlog now before it gets way too long. To, it's about to hit 50 minutes. It's probably going to be 50 minutes, but I'm going to edit this out a bit, so. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It truly means a lot to me. And, um, yeah. That's it. Sometimes I find it hard to end videos because I'm just having such a good time, you know? When the camera's off, then it all sinks in. I got 263 people to entertain. Good luck.